In a time of new development challenges and opportunities, knowledge is indisputably the new currency. Asian Development Bank, through its support to countries in Asia and the Pacific, spanning over five decades, has accumulated a wealth of knowledge, which is its real asset. And knowledge that comes from evaluations is a huge part of this asset. Independent evaluation provides evidence-based findings to learn from, and that helps better understand what worked, what needs to be improved, and why. This knowledge lends itself to better designed actions for improved development effectiveness and impact. If you look at the economic uh, and the social development, Asia and the Pacific DMC is doing much better. So uh, that also means the, their need is also moving to, toward the high end. That means besides financial support, they might also need uh, uh, knowledge, need capacity building and uh, police advice. Then it will be as a family doctor for DMCs, we need to prepare for the knowledge service. That's why I think you see it's very important for EDB to also move into a more knowledge bank. However, despite a greater focus on knowledge and knowledge solutions, knowledge embedded in ADB operations is still not being optimally captured and shared for learning. ADB Strategy 2030 recognizes that while ADB can build on its strong existing knowledge base, it must also adapt to increasingly agile knowledge contexts, driven by new and emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence. With artificial intelligence, this will help us uh, so much uh, with the way uh, we gather data, we analyze data, and what that means is, for us, we will be able to uh, make better informed decisions uh, based on evidence. And what does that mean? In terms of project design, we will be able to actually design better projects. We have faster, quicker, and better access uh, to evaluation data uh, that, uh, in which the lessons learned are actually included. So this will be very helpful for us for project design. The Independent Evaluation Department, in partnership with the Information Technology Department, under its Digital Innovation Sandbox program, is piloting artificial technology to unlock lessons and tacit and experiential knowledge from ADB's pool of evaluation reports. Meet EVA, an artificial intelligence engine that analyzes self and independent evaluation documents to unlock learning and draw lessons embedded in evaluations. EVA scans thousands of evaluation documents in order to understand not just keywords, but context and intent. Through cognitive capabilities, EVA returns meaningful answers to complex questions. Not only that, EVA learns from the experience and improves itself, becoming smarter with each annotation. Well, I think EVA is going to be a very valuable tool for all of us because it will continue to learn and continue to gather lessons. And so as people use it more and more and more, the answers will be very focused for whatever the question is that the person is trying to be sure they've understood. Whether it's when you're trying to summarize your findings for an evaluation or when you're trying to design a new program. EVA identifies lessons from documents and groups them on a dashboard under their appropriate country, sector, theme, modality, and year. EVA also shows commonly appearing lessons and suggests related lessons which users can further explore. EVA, with its ability to reduce the amount of time and resources required to identify lessons, has the potential to aid and enhance usage of evidence-based findings across sector operations. This will lend itself to better designed actions for improved development effectiveness and deeper impact. Goals of ending poverty and boosting shared prosperity may become achievable with artificial intelligence. And with EVA, new gateways can be opened to reach better solutions.